and don't talk about your constitution and the covenant, you're going to be defeated. Right, right. And you'll find yourself 60 years old wondering what's wrong. Because uh-huh. you done been to church where they hooped about Moses. Yes. And you done shout about Moses. And they done told you about the woman at the well. Mm-hmm. And you done got excited. And they gave you false hope because you're not the woman at the well. The issues you're dealing with right now, y'all better don't bother me now. Y'all better don't bother me. These kind of issues you're dealing with right now, the woman well couldn't deal with. You need to have some truth. Y'all better don't bother me here this morning. You need to know some truth. You need to know your constitution. You need to know who's with you. You need to know that your God is sovereign and he made your promise. Amen. Now let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me stop for a minute here. It is established pact on promises. Why do I want to drive this, this, this home? It's not established on your goodness. Right. That's right. Come on. Break it down. God's covenant offered to you is not established based on your ability to do anything but believe him. I'm going to preach it anyhow. It's going to get a little tight. I got, you know, it's, it's going to get a little tight. Are you praying for me? Can I just preach the truth? This is, this, see, this is, this, this is the child of the apostle. Are you all staying with me? Oh, shut up! Shut up. God promised God's covenant. I'm in the kingdom. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm in Christ. I'm holy. I'm blameable. I'm reprovable. That's the word. Yeah. He puts you in to be holy and without blame before him. Yeah. So I'm perfected in Christ. Still have some issues. Yeah. But before God, I'm perfected. Yes. Not before you. Right. You can see everything I'm doing. Right. I tell you all the time, you're not perfected before me. Because I see when you lie to me. I see when you're trying to see in me. But before God, it's already paid for. So while I might hold you accountable and take you from ministry leadership for lying to me, God don't reject you from the kingdom. Right. Ain't nobody saying amen. I'm not going to be this right this morning. So this covenant now is established on promises. God, I never hide. The whole foundation of my covenant with God, that God told me in my constitution is his promises. So I got to know promise. That's why the Bible says it is a faith that it might be by grace to the end of promise might be sure to all the seed. Now I'm going to go by the Holy Ghost and help somebody here. See, what we've told you in church is you have those cigarettes. You still have that handicap. Some of y'all still trying to be the difference from Great Goose. And we've disqualified you from, being, from, from the promises of God based on your cigarette. But that is not your constitution. That's correct. Come on, Praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I wish somebody else amen. Amen. I like preaching like this. I'm still sweating, but I ain't moving that much. You have to understand. Listen to me. So you can stop lying to yourself. And stop lying to your friends. And stop pretending when you come to church. Because yeah, in here, we got the biggest actors. Not only this ministry, everywhere else. Everybody prize and holy, just by they in here. But when you get in your car, the Holy Ghost still with you. Amen. So, this covenant. See, I'm glad about this. I'm, I'm glad about it. I'm glad. That the foundation of the covenant is not my goodness. Amen. Because I told you last week, I'm married. And when you're married, you will say some things. Yes. Unless you're married perfect, you will get mad sometimes. Somebody say amen. amen. I need to know <laughs> that my thoughts, when I get angry, can't disqualify me. I need to know that. I need, I need to know that all that dope I smoke didn't disqualify me because if it did, I wouldn't be here. I need to know that. I, I know you're perfect and you got it all together, but keep me lifted up. I need to know that if I slip and curse, and that's every now and then, I don't curse that much no more. I was, a, I was an A1 curse when I was in the world. Somebody said, man. When I was in college, they made to cuss somebody or they came to get me. <laughs> but like, I was cuss and rhyme. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you know what I'm talking about. They'll come get me. Check them, tell them off for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I need to know that when I cuss out of frustration, it happens like once or twice a year. I, I, I'm not perfect like some of y'all. Pray for me. I need to know I'm not disqualified. Right. Yeah. Talk to me. That's good. I, I need to know if I drink a hand again. Oh, no. I'm not disqualified. That's right. I know y'all don't go to that church where the preacher don't do nothing while you're watching it. Why are you watching it? Why are you watching it? <laughs> 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 but my wife buys me a six-pack of hand again every now and then. I'm coming back when you're ready to get serious about it. I don't get drunk. It takes me a whole six months to drink it. Sometimes a whole year. But sometimes, like when I was watching the Heat game seven, I felt like I had it. I, I wanted to rejoice. 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 I wanted to rejoice.
So I felt like bringing a hammer and I opened it up, click. <laughs> You like God mad with me? No. Because my constitution protects me. Right. Oh, y'all ain't staying here with me. My constitution protects me from my own self. From your own self. I remember a word of prophecy that came in the first year of this ministry. I was told you're protected by the constitution. You need to understand you're protected by the constitution. You have absolute protection under your constitution. Hallelujah. So what is my covenant with God? What does this constitution say about my life? Do you know? How should you treat your pastor? How should you treat your wife, your husband, your spouse? How should you treat the people in church? It's in the constitution. You can't make it up. How do you prosper? Constitution. It's a system for prosperity. You don't prosper through dancing. It's a system for that. When I come into the constitution, when I come into the kingdom, I step into Christ, I have direct access with heaven. Boy, you all don't hear me. I have direct access to heaven. So now, I have to learn how to access the windows. That's right, that's right. And I have to know, I have to learn how to get the influence of God in my life. Amen. I, I got to learn this, I have to learn. I have to learn what opens all these windows for me. Mm. Look, and I, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get in trouble here, but I'm gonna go here and walk and pray for me on this one. Okay. When I step in, all up above me is windows. Yes. Yes. Everything that's gonna come down from heaven is gonna come through windows, why? I'm in the kingdom. I have the right, a direct access to heaven That's because right. I'm in Christ. That's right. He, the, the great God, great secret was that when I come in Christ, He can give me access. All oh, these windows are open. Yeah. Then how do I get them open? <laughs> They're there. I can see all these things up here. I'm in here. I see all these lights. How do I get these lights to function? One switch got all this stuff on, you know. Mm. Right. But if I want to go to each individual thing and receive from that, it have to be on first. That's right. <laughs> If it's not on, no one give me no light. That's right. Y'all stand with me. So when I step in, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a sidebar with this. When, when I step in the kingdom, I'm talking to somebody. When I step in the kingdom, I know that I have access to the things of heaven. I know the things can come down through windows, so I got to open those windows, Pat. Now, there's a system in the Constitution to open those windows. Mm -hmm. God said, bring all the time. Because what the tide does is open the windows that I can go to when I need to receive from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I'm not tied, then grace shuts off. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yes. shut up. And when I go to the window, it's closed. Yes. So why my neighbor receive from the same when I see the it's closed? Because there's no grace for me. Yes. Come on, Father. Can I tell you all a story this morning? Because you know how tithing shut people down. If I'm happy this morning, say amen. amen. Can I tell you a little story? I'm going to help you to understand tithing a little bit. See, what we've done in church was taught you tithing backwards. Because you don't understand that tithing is a part of the blessing. That's correct. Amen. It was made a law under the law because they were under the law. So God made a crime. He said, if you don't tithe, you're robbing me. But it was, always, it was always a part of the blessing. And tithing, now hear me carefully, it's going to take you to stretch. If you read the Bible carefully, tithing was implemented, implemented by man. So how how does it work, preacher? You, you saw, see, hey man, I received that from you. Talking about money, you must get tired. <laughs> let me let me stop. Let me stop and take a deep breath. I want to teach you something. If you visit with us, please bear with me because I want you to be prosperous. Tithing, the Holy Ghost. Oh boy, I had such a relationship and fellowship with the Holy Ghost last night and this morning. I don't have time to talk about that. That's what I came to talk about. But I don't have time to talk about it this morning. Reverend Walker, I want you all to walk with me this morning as I talk to you about tithing. Because many of you in here are not tithing because you, 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 you're tithing out of fear. Mm. <laughs> and you're, tith you're, tith you're tithing out of bad information. That's correct. You're tithing from because the law said that if you don't tithe, you rob God. And under the law, that was right. Remember now, you and I, the law wasn't written for you. You are up under grace. You are under the blessing of Abraham. So in the blessing, tithing, Abraham implemented tithing in the blessing. God never asked him for it. He gave it to him. That's good, Apostle. Uh, now, watch this now. The Bible says when he met Melchizedek, the prince of Salem, and, and, and who was the priest of the Lord? The Bible says after he blessed Abraham, blessed be Abraham of the Most High God, possessed of the heaven and earth. The Bible says God, Abraham, gave him time. Yes. Because it was a practice he always had. By the Lord Jesus. People who are wealthy know, give 10% if I want to stay wealthy. Yes. The people who are not in church, they don't give it to the church, but everybody in the world does the same thing. Talk to any rich person. Read any book, rich dad, poor dad, single of a man in their mind. Read them. They all give. Now, for y'all who's smart.
part of me. 